Okay, today I'm going to uh, give some impressions of this uh, Craftsman uh, SP710 snowblower. I uh, purchased this a few months ago. I had a two-wheeled uh, snowblower before. I was looking to upgrade and try something a little bit different. So this is a track snowblower. It's got the track system there instead of the uh, wheels. It's a little bit bigger than my old one. Uh, this is a 26 inch width uh, scoop on the front there. It's uh, two stage. So it's got the auger there in the, in the front there that will break up the snow and then uh, an impeller that will um, uh, inject it out of the, the chute there at the top. So I think a little bit bigger width uh, give me a little bit better efficiency in the winter. I do like the two stage quite a bit. Uh, we don't get a lot of snow here in town but uh, on occasion we do get a, a doozy so it's nice to have something that can uh, handle it. Uh, it's got a uh, 208 cc Briggs and Stratton engine. Uh, these are pretty uh, reliable engines, been around forever. Uh, they seem to last uh, quite a long time if you take take care of them. And uh, this is a heavy machine. It weighs, I think I read somewhere online, about 235 pounds. So it's not something you can uh, move around uh, when it's not under power. So you definitely need to have it running. Uh, to move it around. You can you can move it around a little bit, but um, you really have to muscle it uh, to get it moving around a little bit. Uh, because of that, uh, you do run it under power, and then you also have a, uh, these levers on the side here, which are kind of the automatic transmission, I suppose you could say. Uh, there's two of them, one on each side, and that actually helps with uh, moving it along. And uh, to turn it around, you just hold one one down and one up, and leave one up, and uh, that'll turn it around for you. Uh, another neat feature about this one: it's got this uh, chute control, so it's got some servos going up front there. You can adjust the direction and the angle of your chute, so you can throw the snow however you want. It's kind of nice feature. You don't have the crank you have to mess with, so it um, definitely is a Nice added feature to help out when you're plowing snow out there. Uh, typical levers for the auger control and engage the drive there. And a standard transmission, six forward, two in reverse, nothing too spe spectacular there. Uh, one of the interesting things about this one, it's got a uh, kind of the system here for changing the height of the scoop there. So when you're in transport mode, it actually raises the scoop quite a bit, but when you're uh, going to uh, actually start removing snow, you can change the height. So there's a notch there for gravel, for example, which keeps a little bit higher, and then normal. So there it just kind of rests on those skid bars right there. And then it's also got a section for, uh, you know, packed snow. So there it's actually resting the housing on the, the concrete. So it's kind of a nice feature, you know, if you're transitioning between gravel and, let's say, concrete or whatever, you can adjust it, uh, you know, fairly easily. And if you've got packed snow, you can even rest that um, housing there on the concrete as well. Uh, let's see how it starts up here. You go ahead and prime it a couple times. Typical primer. These controls are pretty standard. Turn on the not turn on, but actually move the throttle up there a little bit. The choke off there. So, it starts on one pull, like that quite a bit. And uh, if you don't want to use the, the rope there, it's got an uh, automatic start there. You just plug it in there, and uh, you can do it that way, too. Uh, it's got a light. I don't know if uh, you saw the light when I was running it, which is kind of a nice feature. Sometimes it gets dark in the winter. You know, it's just nice to know where you're uh, snowblowing there. Uh, overall, I think it's a pretty good unit. Uh, I was a little bit worried at first that it wouldn't be quick enough because the track system, but I uh, tried it on drive pavement and uh, it moves along pretty good. Um, maybe not as maneuverable as a two-wheeled snowblower, but 
still pretty good. Uh, it takes a little getting used to, but once you do, it it moves around pretty good. Uh, I have a pretty long driveway, so that doesn't bother me too much. Anyway, that's kind of just a basic look at it. Um, definitely a good runner, I think. And uh, hopefully we'll have a little snow here soon, and uh, we'll uh, be doing a snow test.